Okay, this is problem five from chapter 13, section two. In this section, we are uh, doing circuit analysis in the S domain. So we have a 625 nanofarad capacitor in series with a 1K resistor, and that is in parallel with a 100 millihenry inductor. For part A, we want to find the equivalent impedance. For part B, we want to find poles and zeros. So, part A. Well, the equivalent impedance, before we can do anything, is we have to trans, um, translate the inductor and the capacitor into the S domain. The inductor translates as LS, and the capacitor in, translates as uh, 1 over SC. We're not connected to a power supply, so there is no initial current or initial voltage to consider. Um, in part B, poles and zeros. Well, poles and zeros, poles are where the denominator, all the points where the denominator is zero, and zeros are when the numerator is zero. So go ahead and pause the video and try that, and unpause it when you're ready. Also, please take a second to like the Facebook page so we can get more people um, discovering it and it can become more interactive. And also, please help out by um, helping other people. Um, okay, part A. So we have um, 1K plus 1 over SC in parallel with LS. Well, Let's handle the series part first and come back to the parallel part. I'm going to come back to this in just a second. So I want to combine this into one denominator. Or yeah, so that's equal to 1,000, right? Times SC over SC plus SC. That's 1,000. Now they all have the same common denominator. It's plus one over SC. 1 over SC. Now they all have the common denominator, so we put them all as 1 over 1 SC plus 1. That's over SC. Okay, so now that we have added the series components together, now let's talk about the parallel components. So remember that 1 over ZEQ is equal to 1 over each of the parallel components. Well, 1 over that is just flipping it around. So, I'm going to actually, for, yes, so, ZEQ, so, okay, so 1 over ZEQ is 1 over that, which is just SC over 1000 SC plus 1. And the S, the um, inductor, the impedance of the inductor in the S domain is LS, and one over L, and flipping that over is one over LS. Okay, now we're going to find common denominators and combine everything into one fraction. So this one, 1000 SC plus 1, is missing an LS, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by LS. And then this one is missing a 1,000 SC plus 1, so I'm going to multiply that top and bottom by 1,000 SC plus 1. And then in the bottom, uh, the new denominator will be 1,000 SC plus 1 times LS. And we'll distribute that through. Now, on this one, so let's rewrite our new denominator. That's 1,000 SC c plus 1 times ls. On this side, our, um, we're going to have sc times ls. And on this side, it's going to be 1 times, and 1 times anything is just itself, so that's going to give me 1,000 sc plus 1. So, now it's time to combine things. So I'm going to distribute everything through. This is going to give me, I'm going to 
to put parentheses to, isolate, to show that it's a coefficient, this is going to give me LC S squared plus 1000 C S plus 1. That's all over, distributing this through, that's all over um, 1000 LC times S squared plus LS. Okay, now remember that what we just found is actually 1 over ZEQ. Now, so there's a 4, ZEQ is just going to be flip-flop. So ZEQ then, it's just going to be that whole thing flip-flop. It's going to be 1000 LC times S squared plus LS and 1000 LC S squared plus LS. And now is the time to plug in numbers. When you plug in 6, 625 E minus 9 for C and 100 E minus 2 for S, unless I made a mistake, so let me make sure that I didn't make a mistake, 1000. Okay. I did take one more step, and this part is important because we want to get in the habit of we want to get in the habit of um, s squared. The leading polynomial should have a one coefficient. The reason why we want to do that is because our inverse transform, which we're going to be doing a ton of inverse transforms, the table is in terms of the leading polynomial being um, a 1. And so in order to find how to inverse transform, we need a leading 1 polynomial. So therefore, we're going to divide through by 1 over SC. LC is what I did. So what? Oh. <laughs> Silly me, I copied it over wrong. Okay, so in the denumerator, the numerator should have been S squared LC, LC plus 1000, SC plus 1. That was the numerator. So now we're going to divide, um, so let's start over here. We have 1000 LC S squared plus LS over S L S squared L C plus one thousand S C plus one. So I want a zero a one coefficient. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by one over L C because I want the coefficient to be one. And that will give me, over here, the L and the C will cancel, leaving me with a 1,000S squared. Over here, the L's will cancel, so that's going to give me S over C. And then in the bottom, LC will cancel, just like I wanted it to, giving me a 1 coefficient of S squared. Here, the C's will cancel, so it's going to give me 1,000. S over L, and the last term is 1 over LC. Check my work because it is super easy to make mistakes. Plug in your, um, plug in 625E minus 9, and for capacitor, 100E minus 3 for the inductor, and your final function should be 1000 S squared plus 1.6 E6 S over S squared plus 10,000 S plus 
e7. Now, we don't leave the function in that format because ultimately we will always go and find the inverse transform, which means we're going to do some, always do some kind of partial fraction expansion. So, we're going to put the denominator into your TI-89 and you should find that. And also factor out the numerator too because we need it in factor form to find the um, zeros. So in the numerator, we have, I didn't factor it, so I'm not sure I'm doing it right now. 1,000 1, S squared plus 1.6 E5, E6, E6S. And in the denominator, I have S plus 2,000. S minus uh, plus 8,000. Okay, so poles are zeros. Poles are where, poles are where um, we have problems in the denominator, and that's going to be at negative 2,000 and negative 8,000. So we have a pole at negative 2,000 and negative 8,000. And the units are radians per second. And then where you have a zero numerator is um, you just factor out 1,000 or 1,000 S and solve for that. And so solving for the numerator equals zero. Um, so 1,000 S leaves me S plus 1,600. So equals zero. So you'll have a zero when s is zero and a zero when s is negative sixteen hundred. So your two zeros are zero and negative sixteen hundred. And that should be the answer. All right. Make sure to like the Facebook and share if you find helpful.